This is the easiest way to localize your game, or at least to translate the dialogues. As you know, I'm making Milky Way Mailing Inc, which is a game very um, story driven, so I have many dialogues, every event in the game is triggered by a dialogue, and I have to translate a lot of things, so I already have 68 uh, dialogues that I had to translate, and I thought that this would be very tedious and intense pro process, but it turns out that using Notion AI, it is just like, it's a piece of cake, guys. So let me show you how this works. So I have Notion here, and of course, this is a Notion AI feature, so it's a premium feature, but let me show you how this works. I have here the translation database as you can see so we have the name this is the name of the key that we should use in the game to uh, indicate to Grot engine which is the the dialogue line or at least the, the database line that it should pick for this translation and the properties here are the the columns that it should pick for translate so we have ptbr here so portuguese uh, brazilian portuguese i have uh, english already set up i have spanish already set up as well and well let's try to uh, translate french right so i'm going to create a new property that's going to be a text based so it's a, a text type property and you can see that there is a new feature called ai autofill right so we are going to turn this on and it gives us some options. So summary, translate, key info, custom autofill. And of course we are going to choose translate here. And you can see that it has an option to auto update on page edits. This is an amazing thing because from there, if you leave this toggle on, we can basically just add features, set the values of the main uh, column. So in my case on Portuguese, and after some time, it's not immediate, but after one or two minutes, uh, Notion will translate it automatically. You can basically just put it right there on the, the column, the main column, and live your life, go do your other stuff, and when you come back, it will be translated. So this is an amazing tool. I will recommend you to leave it uh, to go on. But right here, we have the other options. In this case, we are going. Uh, it asks uh, what we should translate, what uh, Notion should translate. And by default, it translates the name, but remember, the name is the key that we're going to use to tell Godot what are the, the variable that uh, it should use to translate each dialogue. I'm going to show you uh, how this works in a, in a minute. But in my case, I'm going to, to, go to check the PTBR column, the PTBR property instead, and uncheck the name property because otherwise it will create a value on this column on this property that will translate both the name and the portuguese br so brazilian portuguese uh text as well and i don't want that because this will break the dialogue right so i'm ju just going to leave btbr checked here and i'm going to ask it to translate it to french right so this is the the language that we are going to translate to and I'm going to save the changes. It's going to ask to turn on auto update for text. I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to ask it to autofill all pages and you're going to see that it will start autofilling them. So zero out of eight, uh, 68 pages and you can see that it already start the, the process. So it's automatically and I'm going to come back after it finished up this process. So Notion already finished up its job and I'm going to rename this property to uh, the French uh, localization identifier, which is FR, and I'm going to export this database. So Notion doesn't export explicitly CSV files. It exports a bundle between Markdown and CSV, but this will do the job for us. So I'm going to export. Uh, you can see that I have this format set to Markdown and CSV. And this will create a zip file with all the markdown files and CSV files, but in this specific case, since this is just a database page, page it will create a CSV file. So export. I'm going to save it as translations. And in my download folder, I'm going to extract it and rename this because Notion exports all the CSV files for each view that you have that you have on your database. So this is the all views CSV file, but since I just have one view, I'm going to use just this file right here. I'm going to take rid of this uh, unique identifier and copy and paste it on my translations folder on my project. So I have it set up on doc documents, work, Ludens, 
Games Milk Way Mailing Inc. Follow Milk Way Mailing Inc. I will put the link to the channel in the description in the description because I'm going to start to create content for the channel. So follow up the Milk Way Mailing Inc. channel to uh, follow the, the new updates of the game and start to follow up the story that I'm going to tell through this game. But that said, we are going to repository, growth engine and localization folder. So this is not necessary. You don't need to create a localization folder for your game in order for this to work, but I created just to keep things organized. And you can see that I already have this translations uh, folder. I'm going to recreate it just so you guys can follow the process, translations. And I'm going to paste the CSV file here. And if we go to the Godot engine, you can see that Godot will create some extra files here. So we have the CSV file and we have the AIN translation, the ES translation, the FR translation, the PT translation as well. So to use these files, we are going to project, project settings, the localization tab, and add these files. So I'm going to select all of them, open. And that's it. That's everything that we need to do in order for this to work. And note that we just need to do this once. We just need to add these translation files once. So if I add more content to my CSV file, Godot will automatically remap it to its um, respective translation file. So the way that we uh, use these translations is that, remember, we have this case right here on the left, right? These are what Godot will use to know which are which uh, line of the database it should use for each specific uh, text. So for instance, I will open my headquarter page here, my headquarter scene, and I have this event player, which is a, a very cool uh, recipe that I use. use. And let's say uh, the onboard. This is the onboard event. So I have here a dialogue text with some properties. And you can see that instead of the text, I have this key set which will be on board 1-1, uh, is this one. So this is the, the text that it will remap. And if I want to, we can remap any other thing. So for instance, this is the repair feature of my game. And based on the events, I change the, the text that is displayed on the, the dialogue. So I also, I'm also using the, the translation key here as well. So repair cause, repair fail, repair succeeded. So if we play the game, uh, it, something that is interesting to take note of is that here on, gener on project files general, there is this locale property, this locale menu in which we can test other lo locales, right? So for instance, I'm testing the PT, so Portuguese, but for instance, we can try the French one. Let's close that and play the game. And you can see that it's set to French. And this happens automatically. So the translation server automatically updates the, the text or whatever asset because you can also remap other assets. So you can see that on project, project settings, uh, localization, I have here remaps. I have one remap for the for the splash screen. So I have the splash in Port, uh, Brazilian Portuguese as well. So you can remap any kind of asset. So you can remap audio files for like dialogues and stuff like this as well. But on this specific case, uh, let me show you how we can change the localization in real time. So I'm going to create a new canvas layer here and add some buttons. So canvas layer, this will be on top of everything. So a hundred and I'm going to create some buttons here. Button. And I will attach a built-in script to it, which will basically export a variable that will tell what is the locale, the localiza localization that we want to use, right? So in this case, by default, it will be English. And on the press callback, I'm going to change the translation server, translation server dot set locale to the localization of this button and add it right here saying English and I'm going to duplicate it to Portuguese PT and to French FR and if we play the game 
Portuguese it changes automatically. <laughs> simple is as this simple to change the localization. Of course, if you really want to make this a menu and stuff like this, you are going to make this beautifully, right? And don't keep it as ugly and raw like that, as rough like that. But this this is all you have to do. You just need a localization index or a localization identifier and to set the translation server locale to the localization that you want to change the, the text to, the, the whole game to, right? So this is the thing. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps you as much as it helps me as, help me as well. Thank you so much for watching. Keep developing and until the next time. See you there.